What's going on everyone? Welcome to another high block tutorial. In this video, we will be covering one of our newest releases, bid and ask data. Order book integration has been a highly requested feature by our customers. Users who actively use high block know that up till now, most of our signals were derived from order flow, which is essentially market orders executing on the exchange. Now we have added order book to complete the supply and demand picture. For those of you who are unfamiliar with order book, it is the limit or resting orders that have not yet been executed on the exchange. These are separated into bids and asks. Bids are resting or passive buy orders and asks are resting or passive sell orders. When you execute a market order, your counterparty are these limit orders waiting to be filled. We can take a look at how this data is displayed on Binance. Here we have the order book data on the right hand side. On the bottom, we have the bids and on the top, we have the asks. The number in the middle is the last executed price. At each of these levels, there are participants placing their limit orders at these different prices. You can see the price and the size in BTC as well as USD. The size is aggregated across all the participants that placed the orders at each of these prices. So for example, if the price right now is around 20,500 and I want to buy one Bitcoin when the price dips to 20,400, then I will place a limit order and it'll be added to this total right over here. So at 20,400, the bids will go from 8.9 to 9.9. So how did we represent this data on the chart? The first indicator is the bids and asks. This shows the total bids and total asks across the various exchanges. If you go to the indicator setting, you can see that we have a few filter options. The first filter is the depth of the book. This allows the user to select how far away from price they want to view the bid ask data. For example, over the last few weeks, the price of BTC has been ranging from around 18,000 to around 22,000. That is about 10% away from the current price. So if we just want to look at the bid and ask in this range, we will select greater than or equal to 0% and smaller than 10%. We also support both spot and perpetual market types, as well as the options to select from a various group of exchanges. You, you deselect some of these exchanges, you can see that the bid ask changes. One of the most common ways users use order book data to analyze the market is by looking at the supply and demand pressure. If there are more asks than bids, such as this area over here, or the most recent area that we're in right now, then it will be harder for the price to go up and vice versa. Sometimes whales will place extremely large orders in the book and that will impact the sentiment in the market. These large orders act as support resistance zones or what traders often refer to as walls. Sometimes these large orders are placed with the intention of never going through because they are removed prior to the price hitting that level. This is known as spoofing. Spoofs are more common further from price because there's more buffer room to cancel the order before price reaches that level. Spoofs are less common closer to the most recent price because a large market order can easily trigger that order. This is why we introduced quote level data. Quote data is the best or nearest bid and ask price. In other words, this shows the buying and selling pressure one level away from price. To get there, you go back to the settings and you go to the depth percentage and you set greater than or equal to 0% and smaller than quote level. 
The next indicator that we have is the bids and asks ratio. This indicator will range from negative one to one. The formula is bids minus asks divided by bids plus asks. This ratio will allow us to see which side bids or asks are stronger and by how much. You will notice the same filter options within the settings as you got in the bids and asks indicator. But also within this signal, we have another indicator called bid ask ratio increase decrease, which I've also put on the chart below. This shows the change in the bid ask ratio. The formula is the bid ask ratio of the current timestamp subtracted by the bid ask ratio from the previous timestamp. Using all three of these signals together can give you an accurate gauge of where buying and selling pressure exists across the entire order book and how fast or slow this pressure is changing. We are proud to announce that this indicator is free for all of our users and we hope that it becomes useful for your trading strategy. That's all that I had to show for this indicator today. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.